the unicorn being a national animal. It's quite difficult to believe, right? It, yeah, it's quite difficult to comprehend for sure. Like a unicorn, that's so cool though. Okay, so a bit of an unexpected daily vlog today. I was on Instagram stories last night and I saw one of the vloggers that I follow, Bobby from New York, was gonna be here in town in Edinburgh for a very short while. Living Bobby is from New York City. He vlogs all about his life there. So I sent him a message last night as he was boarding his plane saying, listen, I'm gonna be in town today for a few hours. Would you like a bit of a tour guide? And he got back to me and saying, yeah, so I'm gonna go uptown in Edinburgh right now and give Bobby a quick tour. Thank you for joining in, by the way, guys. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. So I'm here in Edinburgh, right? And I've just bumped into Living Bobby. What's up, man? I can't wait to show you my city. I'm really, really happy that you're here. This is such a beautiful city. Like everywhere you just like look around, it's beautiful. It's awesome, right? Yeah, like the stairs right there, the castle. Where's the castle? The castle's up there. Yeah, it's so beautiful. So this part of town is like the old town. Okay. That side where you are is the, that's kind of new. So Bobby and I are kind of switching places. You're here in Edinburgh for, for how long? For only two days, Two actually. days. Yeah. But we're, you're going to New York. I'm going to New York tomorrow, so we're kind of crossing places. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, you messaged me, you're like, hey man, I'm going to New York on Wednesday, but I'm here today. It's so cool. A few cool. hours crossover. Yeah, um, right. Hey, you know what? Edinburgh is a small place. You can kind of explore it in a couple of days pretty easily. Yeah. So, to spit on the heart of Midlothian. Just pretty much anywhere in it. In the middle is good. Good luck in Scotland. Good luck in Scotland. Good luck in Scotland. That was the spot where the where the, the prison was, where they were kept. So we Whoa. spit on that for good luck, basically. I'm glad you told me that after, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and I think since we've not got like massive amount of time, I'm going to take you up to the castle because it's like the centerpiece of the city. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of cool. Cool. Yeah, let's do it. So cool. I mean, th this castle, there's parts of this castle that are literally like we're going to find out, but a lot of years old. Wow. This. Yeah. You get a great view from the top as well. I've just explained about the, the one o'clock gun that goes off. <laughs> <laughs> and like, literally, if you don't know what's going to happen, you, you, sh you think it's an explosion, yeah. you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> people are ducking and everything. That's Arthur's seat up there at the mountain. Wow. Okay. Um, it's really awesome. It's 100% free, best place you can go yeah. in the city for sure. One thing I always, um, when I speak to friends from like the States and I tell them how old Edinburgh is, they're like, what? Our country was only founded, I think. Well, what, yeah. Four or five hundred years ago. Or something yeah, like you were like, oh, this is the new part of the city. <laughs> it was made 300 years ago. Like, the US was made 300 years ago. <laughs> so That's pretty cool. What are your first impressions of the city? It's amazing. Like, it's just incredible. Like, everywhere you look, it's honestly like an open museum, it feels like. Yeah. Like, it's incredible. So. It's pretty cool. And everybody's so nice here. Everybody's so smiling and everybody. You know, it says hi, so... That's the Scottish spirit. <laughs> wait, wait till you go for a whiskey as well later on. Yeah? <laughs> then you'll really see the Scottish spirit coming I'm out. I'm excited, yeah. <laughs> I think it's kind of sad that I haven't been here more times. Right? Yeah. In the center of my city and it's like... It's, it's incredible. Like, this is the oldest building here in the castle, right? In the city? In the city. Yeah. Um, the year 1160. That's, I can't even comprehend how old that is. That's crazy. <laughs> We're in the, uh, the crown jewel room. Just been explaining about the unicorn being a national animal. It's quite difficult to believe, right? It, yeah, it's quite difficult to comprehend for sure. Like a unicorn, that's so cool though. That's the, we've got them pretty much all around Edinburgh. Uh, <laughs> it's a coat of arms. But yeah, apparently this is where the, the first king of Scotland was born, in this room. Unicorns. Here. Unicorns up in the. I mean, that's beautiful, right? And, and right here is where they had the baby. Yeah, right here. <laughs> it says 1566 up there. I don't know if that was the, the date of birth. I don't know. Something like that.
unfortunately I don't have like massive amount of time today so I need to run off but um, it's really awesome to show probably. so great meeting you man thank so you cool. for showing me around like just everything here the castle was amazing glad to like it yeah and, I mean most people will already watch your vlogs but what for the, the small percentage that haven't what, what, what are you about what's your what's your channel about and sure um, well, you know, I really try to focus on things that, you know, are relatable to people. So like food, for example, culture, travel in general. Right now I'm in the UK and basically I'm traveling around everywhere yeah. for free. So, That's awesome. Yeah, so it's going to be an interesting adventure. This yeah. is day one. So thank you for showing me around. And I mean, you're going to have a great time here. Like there's so many cool places in the UK to explore. You've been here before, right? Yeah, well, I've been to London. Yeah. So this is very different than London. So I'm super excited to just explore and meet people and yeah, yeah man. That's awesome and, and like I'm, I'm going to be in New York like in the next few days so I'm going to be back in New York anytime soon or? Um, so I'm spending 11 days in the UK so. I'll probably cross over then because I'm going to be there for a while. Sweet. Alright Bobby I'm going to hit the road. Okay man. Enjoy. Enjoy New York man. Cheers man. Um, I'll be in touch. Enjoy the city. Sounds good man. <laughs> I'm really going now. <laughs> Catch you after. So that was really fun showing um showing Bobby around Edinburgh, my home city. That's what this is about. That's what I love doing, meeting new people. And you know Bobby is someone I can relate to, somebody who does what I do as a vlogger. Definitely go and check out his channel. He does some awesome, awesome stuff. And hopefully I'll be able to hook up with him in New York. We only had time to check out the castle, but I've got a meeting that I need to attend and I'm gonna tell you about in just a second. Okay, so I've brought the car down here to Cowgate, a little walk away from the castle because I've got a meeting, a very special, important meeting. I don't want to get too excited about this. I don't want you guys to get too excited about this either. It's just an idea at the moment, but I thought of an idea for a video documentary series for the TV. And I got in touch with one of Scotland's top documentary producers. And I've asked her if she would fancy meeting me so I can discuss the idea. That's all this is. It's exciting. I can't believe I actually got that access so quickly. Probably nothing will happen of it, but let's see what happens. I've got nothing more than a good idea at the moment. And then I need to get home quickly and pack. Okay, folks, I'm back home. Couldn't film any of that meeting, obviously. But I'm kind of dreaming right now. I feel like I'm dreaming. Pinch me. I didn't expect to get any kind of good response from that meeting, but response I got fills me with a lot of enthusiasm and excitement and happiness. Things are just happening. I, I, I'm so excited to see where it ends up. I had this idea, I decided to approach the right people. There's no guarantees, but there's no guarantees of anything in life. All you can do is take steps forward, keep moving, work hard, trust the process, and have belief in yourself and things will start moving right. But guys, listen, I need to remove all these hyper, excited feelings from my head and get on with packing because I'm leaving for New York in a few hours time and I haven't packed a single item of clothing yet so tech is probably packed already thousands of tears later making headway so a lot to do though this area here is my technology zone which is most important packing area uh, a bit messy right now but I'm gonna get there looks a bit like a bomb has hit it but I'll sort that out Okay, so it's been about an hour of packing and I'm in a much better state. I've got two suitcases there that look reasonably packed. I just hope they're not um, overweight, which is the next problem. Anyway, we're actually going out now. A long time ago, before this trip to New York came to be, we bought tickets to a concert, which is tonight, which is why I've been furiously packing. So today's not over. We're going to a show in town. I'm taking a car, no drinking, because we're flying tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so I'm back in Edinburgh City Centre for the second time today. This time I'm with Decca. And we're going to the venue that we have been here two or three times. One of my favourite live music venues in Edinburgh. One of the last remaining live music venues, Sneaky Pete's. What's cool about Sneaky Pete's is it's so tiny. It fits like 50 people. And usually, I think because the guy who owns it is quite well connected, they get some really, really good um, bands that play there. And a lot of cool bands have played there over the time as well. So imagine a place with 50 people or so. Maybe a bit more. Maybe it's 100. Not 50, yeah, it's more. But small anyway. 
and then some awesome bands like Boy Azuga, who's um, getting quite big and it should be good fun but literally we're going to New York in a few hours so not going to have a late one not going to have a wild one we're just going to have a one Geek and Edinburgh, it's a pleasure to be spending the day with you. Let's do it. Still light outside. Yeah. That was good fun. Concert is done. It is now 10 p.m. at night and it's still bright sunlight outside. It might as well be the middle of the day, to be honest. My review of Boy Azuga, it's quite cool, actually. I enjoyed that. I think they'll go far. It's a long day tomorrow, a really long day. And I've still to finish packing. And we're leaving early, early doors in the morning. So that was today's vlog. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then. Have a good night.